Hey, how, how's everybody doing? Well, last year, pretty much about the same time, right around March 1st, I uh, started these tomatoes, or actually I bought these three tomatoes that I put in cocoa core. So right now they're about one years old. So this is what they kind of look like after surviving a, a winter here in Oregon. So still alive, but uh, definitely nothing to brag about. This tomato right here is a um, brandy wine. I grew in cocoa core. This is the beef steak. This is the actually my cherry tomato graph that I have going off my uh, beef steak. Still getting a few uh, few cherry tomatoes. And right here, I'm basically this is the mother plant. And you can see I couldn't couldn't find one leaf or branch that was live on the mother plant, so it's pretty. Uh, Pretty weird that was actually uh, the graft was growing on what would appear to be a dead mother plant. So here's the cherry tomato, a super sweet 100, and still growing pretty good, getting really leggy. And I pruned this probably several times during the winter. But it looks, uh, <laughs> it doesn't look very good, but it's still been producing a, a few tomatoes, but nothing, nothing to brag about. All right, so this is one I want to show you. I'm gonna clean, uh, I want to clean this side of the greenhouse out. This side I'm just going to dedicate to uh, pepper plants this year. So, in order to for a new start, you got to get, you got to have an ending. So, and I really didn't see a reason to try to keep these things going, um, see if they survive the survive the spring or the summer. <clears throat> But sorry, it's like 5.30 in the morning, this is, uh, waiting for my coffee to kick in, so I know I sound a little droggy, but uh, I just kind of want to make a quick video before the kids woke up and all hell broke loose, so. But um, I did prune this cherry tomato uh, several times, and I was really surprised on the growth I got out of it, so um, I'm pretty comfortable. I think this thing would have made, made it to summertime or springtime, but... Um, need the room like I was saying earlier I want to dedicate that side just to peppers so and here's a look this will be my pepper aisle and this is last year's poblano still uh, it survived the winter time it's my California wonder didn't really do very good this last year but um, it survived I'll be put in we got a couple new things going on rose bush or rose cuttings Blueberry cuttings. This is all grown in cocoa or trying to start in cocoa. And a raspberry cutting that actually took off. I got that from my mother. So we trained a couple, couple new things this year. Alrighty, so this could be the side for the peppers. Left hand side will be for my DWC tomatoes. So I have some questions for all you. All you good folks. I'm in my designing phase for next year's greenhouse, so I'll be replacing this one. I will be, will be building a permanent um, greenhouse wood structure. I have some old windows saved for my remodeling. So my question for all you is I'm trying to get ideas. So if you guys can drop me some lines on your greenhouse is what you like about your greenhouse what you don't like about your greenhouse I'm still trying to decide on size right now I was thinking maybe 10 by 14 so um, I'm really really undecided um, I want to do Dutch bucket setup so I'm <clears throat> kind of interested in what an ideal ceiling height would be for the greenhouse so if you guys could uh, share with me some of your information on that that would be awesome um, and what are some accessories that you like on your greenhouse? Um, do, you, do you have um, fans, um, stuff like that, and anything that um, you wish you would have done to your greenhouse and didn't? Um, if you could share that with me, that'd be awesome. You know, like I was saying, um, I wanted to stay around the 10 to 14, maybe 10 to 16, um, about maximum. I wanted to see what you guys thought on that side of the greenhouse. And this is actually right here, the second greenhouse I've ever had, so pretty new to um, 
greenhouse gardening, but uh, so far I really uh, I wish I would have done this a long time ago. So I appreciate all your guys' input, and then uh, I want to share something else with you guys. All right, well this is the view of my backyard, and that's Pacific Ocean, and this is what my big plans are for not next year of 2016 but 2017. So right here, this is the back of back of our property, and I actually have a pretty nice flat. Ooh, coffee smell kicking in, starting to wake up. But um, so well, the plans for the future are I'm gonna clear all this brush out. I already cut down quite a few trees, burn it down, and put um a really decent size hoop house in there. I end up with a uh, an extra <laughs> well I guess coffee hasn't kicked in yet. Well I end up with the extra water tank so I have a 1500 gallon water tank I'll have back there. So and I also have found a spring down there at the bottom so <clears throat> I have a lot of cool plants I, I have brewing in, in my old head so um, just a beautiful view and uh, really excited about uh getting started on this but i have a few other priorities i need to take care of first all right well kid number one just woke up so i better get a better get a cruising so i have a lot of plans really um excited with getting this uh this area um, going um our goal is to be able to grow food where i don't have to buy any produce um, from the stores so from all our greens um Probably have a small orchard. Um, just think about maybe trying some hydroponic uh, trees, blueberry brushes, bushes, um, all kinds of cool things. So I'll be taking through the process on how um, I have access to a little mini excavator. So um, from start to finish, I'll, I'll be sharing sharing this with you guys. So you know, like I was saying, I probably won't start the brush clearing until next fall. And then I'll start building my new greenhouse from the one that's right next to my house, the one I was ask, asking questions on. And then, uh, so really pumped, really excited. I got a couple um, ideas for growing this year, so um, stay tuned. I got a new uh, strawberry thing I'll be doing. So, all right, guys, I'm going to wrap this up. Take care. And as always, thanks for taking the time to watch and comment. All right, bye, guys.